This is a real battle. A 13-year-old girl from a slum area in Africa has to do battle with the last chess champion. When the battle has just started, she secretly takes off her slippers. The referee gives an order, the competition officially starts but at this moment, she doesn't know this competition today will rewrite her life's destiny. Today's movie is adapted from the true experience of Fiona, the youngest queen of chess in history. Fiona was born in Katwe, the largest slum in Africa. She has only one thing to consider every day, that's how to eat and live till the next day. Mom tells her and her brother to sell corn on the street and must earn 1,000 shillings to go home. 1,000 shillings are only 7 RMB after being converted into Chinese RMB but they have to dance a funny dance all day to ingratiate passerby. However, recently the brother is always lazy. Fiona quietly follows him to a broken warehouse. The kids inside are playing with black and white cobbles. A young man is making free porridge. Fiona who is hungry can't help but walk to the door. The man greets her warmly. This is the first time Fiona eats white porridge. It turns out that the man is a football coach. He uses his spare time to teach these children who can't afford to go to school to play chess because chess can exercise their thinking and steal their moral character. Maybe one day, it can also help them get rid of poverty. To attract them, the coach promises if they come and play chess, they will have free porridge. Just like this, Fiona gets in touch with chess for a bowl of porridge and her life has also undergone earth-shaking changes. The master in the class tells her chess is a magical game. When the pawn goes to the bottom line, it can be advanced to the most beautiful queen. Little people will also have a day of standing up. Fiona is immediately attracted by this intelligent game and she seems to have an innate talent. One year later, Fiona defeats the best chess player in the classroom but the last few tricks she uses haven't been taught by the coach yet. He asks Fiona if she had secretly read his books but unexpectedly Fiona can't read. The coach realizes the girl in front of him is a chess genius. He immediately comes to the registration office of the chess contest but the other side hurriedly refuses as he hears that they're kids from a slum because they bring disease and bacteria and shows the registration fee of 1,000 shillings per person to make the kids shrink from difficulties. To make the kids believe that chess indeed can change their lives, the coach plays a few games at the risk of relapse of the old injury, finally collects enough registration fees for them. Just like that, a damaged bus full of dreams gets into the most famous university in the country. However, when they just get into the university, the kids sound of singing cases abruptly. This spacious flat playground and the identical uniforms make them fearful. At the dinner, they look out of place among the neat students. That night, the coach comes to their dormitory, all the beds are neat as they haven't touched them. These kids who are used to misery unexpectedly choose to sleep on the ground. This is an unprecedented chess competition because they make an exception to let children from a slum compete. This short-haired girl is Fiona, the seeded player in the slum. She is going to fight this enigmatic student boy. The battle starts. The two stretch out their right hands at the same time. This is the basic etiquette of chess but the student boy rubs the tablecloth in disgust. Facing provocation and contempt, Fiona is unmoved because she knows the chessboard is her own battlefield. Most of the time has passed. At this time, the opponents suddenly launch an attack but unexpectedly Fiona not only doesn't panic, but she also takes away two pawns of the opponent. It turns out that she has just deliberately shown a flaw. Fiona wins the first battle but when she steps out of the competition site, she stills doubts if she has really defeated a school kid in the city. Coming back to the slum, the coach immediately arranges for his wife to teach Fiona to read because she has to read books if she wants to improve. However, at this time, Fiona's brother is hit by a motorcycle. Getting to the hospital, the doctor says there is no anesthetic so the mother can only ask the doctor to sew up the wound abruptly. A 136 the surgery has just finished, the mother cruelly pulls out the brother's syringe then takes him to leave the hospital because they have no money to pay for the surgery. Getting back home, the house is locked again, the landlord throws out their things all at once. A mother and three kids wander on the street that night. Fiona has no idea when will this misery in life come to an end and can chess really change her life. The next day, the glamorous eldest sister throws a few banknotes for them. She is seeking a living with a rich man. Looking at the back of the eldest sister, Fiona is confused. She sweeps away all obstacles on the chessboard and is the biggest winner on the site but in reality, she has to face this poor life, bow her head and admit defeat. Maybe in the end, she will exchange youth for a few years of the easy life like her eldest sister. Therefore, Fiona doesn't go to the chess classroom anymore. Knowing this, the coach asks her to play a game of chess but after a few steps, Fiona is defeated. Seeing it's a total failure, she directly brings down her king. Seeing the girl in front of him has lost the old spirit, the coach tells her that others may have many choices in their lives, but for Fiona, chess is the only way to change her life, she must never let her own king go easily. Under the encouragement of the coach, Fiona regains chess, gains gold medal continuously. That day, when they're discussing, Fiona makes a low-level mistake. The coach is furious but she just smiles and says nothing. After some deduction, she turns defeat into victory. The coach is dumbfounded. She can predict the situation after 8 moves in advance. The coach knows he can't teach her anymore, Fiona should become an international player. She is quickly invited to Sudan to participate in the international championship. 
Fiona takes a plane for the first time, swims for the first time, eats french fries for the first time. Everything here is beautiful like heaven. They also don't let others down, win the international championship, enjoy countless glory. However, when she gets back to the dilapidated hut, everything yesterday was like a dream. She no longer sells corn, no longer does housework. She complains about life every day because those people she defeated can wear beautiful clothes, can practice chess on the computer while eating delicate snacks, why a champion like her has to live in a slum and suffer from hunger. Seeing her changes, the coach is at a loss because no one can accept such a big gap. That day, Fiona remembers an opponent has told that if she wins more than half of the games in the Olympics, she can join the club to win prizes. Fiona who is impatient for success ignores the coach's dissuasion and registers herself. Just like that, Fiona becomes the youngest athlete in the 39th Olympics. Before the game, the coach keeps telling her that she must play steadily but at this time she can't listen anymore. As expected, Fiona who is eager for success makes mistakes again and again and she has lost completely a few games. What is also defeated is her spirit. Maybe her destiny is destined to be unchangeable. That day, her mother and sister have a dispute. It turns out that her sister is pregnant and the brother-in-law whom she has never met has already disappeared. That evening, Fiona runs to the coach's house. There will be a man chasing her soon, she doesn't want to be toyed with and abandoned like her sister but life is like a chess game, where is her safety? The coach tells her losing chess doesn't mean losing, playing chess is also growth, the world won't change, only her can change. Starting over is never too late. One year later, Fiona once again represents Uganda in the 40th Chess Olympiad. On the competition site, Fiona calmly takes off her slippers like a warrior running with bare feet and has nothing but fearless. After a fierce fight, Fiona finally smiles. After the pawn is changed, she wins. This 16-year-old girl becomes the hero of Uganda and becomes the hope in the hearts of all poor children. The press soon publishes an autobiography for Fiona. She uses this rate of remuneration to buy a new house for her mother. The one on the left in the video is the real Fiona. She is the first Uganda athlete to win the title of women's chess master. Although she was swept by fate since born, she went upstream for her dream. After unremitting efforts, she finally rewrote her life with chess.